I've been joined today by Sarah Haddon. Sarah is a knitwear designer. And Sarah, you were saying earlier that you actually fell into knitting via sewing. I did. Um, I did a degree in fashion and it had an awful lot more sewing than I was expecting. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny silly. how courses can do that <laughs> yes. to you. Um, and I don't have as much patience as I'd like with sewing. Um, and I had been taught to knit as a child and it was like a comfort zone to go back to. So I ended up including some knitwear pieces in my final collection and the rest is history. The rest is history, yes. It all led into career in knitting. Well, yes, and designing patterns. Yes. So um, I think I've worked in the industry for nearly 20 years um, and it's always been hand knitting. Um, I'm a left-hander, so knitting machines don't agree with me completely. <laughs> so um, I stuck with the hand knitting um, and yeah, it's been a great career. Super. And um, I found one of your patterns on the front of, of this magazine. Yes, so um, I've worked with Rowan, um, who are a luxury brand of yarn um, for a number of years now. Um, and now I work as a freelance for them, um, doing designs for different books, but they work on with a, a very broad range of designers. So I'm lucky to sit in that stable really. Yeah, yeah really, really super for you. But talking about yarns, one of the things I found very recently is that there are so many different sorts of, I would call them wool, because I don't know any better, but coming from independent spinners and, yes. and kind of sheep, we don't, sheep It's brewers. not all just like wool now. No, we have alpaca and I things know. made of shells and it's, um, it's a growing industry, definitely, in terms of the different products you can get. And I think it's lovely that kind of um, artisan connection with something a bit more unusual rather than just knitting because you have to knit. Yes, yes. It's well, all we're, we're all very familiar with the double knitting balls of mass produce. Yes. But I think to have it from a, a kind of, you know, with the farm where the sheep were grown or the yes. alpaca were grown. And that I think it's that lovely. connection to, to the yarn and your finished product is yeah. a lovely thing that we have now. So tell me a little bit about Bo Peep because this is another, this is about your book and with this, it is. I've never heard of this. So um, it's West Yorkshire Spinners, they're um, a family company and um, they use British wool um, and they spin it up in, in Yorkshire. Um, and Fantastic. so they asked me to do a collection of baby designs in four ply. So I'm really lucky in that most of the companies I work for I get to do ladies and men's and babies and I'm not saying I've got like a short attention span, but it's quite nice to have that broad range rather than get stuck in one channel if I'm always going to design the same thing. So like your wide variety. Yeah, and babies yeah. are always lovely to design for. And you know that people love knitting for babies. It's a nice yes. quick project, yeah. but it's something that people really love and appreciate. Yes, making, so yeah. and uh, my age group kind of learnt how to knit, but I think the younger age group have forgotten that. And it's, it's yes. relatively, as you say, easy and portable and yes, satisfying. exactly. And I think a lot of people, especially like young mums, and they that kind of like nesting, and they want to make something lovely for my new arrival, s start kind of down that route of getting into knitting and then mm. you get hooked. Yes, you c well, yes, a bit like, bit like my, my, my field. I'm addiction yes. is, is a nice thing. Yeah, we thing. are all addicts. Yes, <laughs> aren't we just? And this is another with the, with the same West Country, uh, yes, West so Yorkshire Yes, this is a spinners. collection of men's and women's. Um, they Design. did a lovely Shetland tweed yarn um, with um, actual Shetland wool. So it was nice and rugged, very, very different to the baby book. Yes, I can um, see that. But that's the nice thing that I get to do. I get to play with lots of different things and lots of different projects and lots of different people so it's lovely. Oh it sounds so great. We've got cables on here. Cables something that you like to do. Cables I love. Yeah. Uh, cables seem really scary to a lot of people but you're just moving stitches around. That's the secret to it. So um, we've got a retreat coming up. We have. Um, and I will be teaching people kind of demystifying cables. So um, okay. hopefully by the end of it you could be making things like this. Yes or I was going to say can we have a look at this one? Yeah. So yeah. Some very, wow. very delicate cables. They this don't feel like these big chunky No, kind I'm of used to sweaters. the kind of really chunky yes, sweater a big look. Kind of yes. cream sweater and very cozy. But um same technique but just a very different look. Whereas this we've gone you know, it's very heavily cabled. Similar but it's design. Similar kind of yeah, yeah. Nice, like kind so of a little technique. knot going yes, on. Yeah, so I love that. um hopefully by the end of the retreat and you know, we've done some of the tutorials as well. Yes kind of stopping people being so scared of, of moving on to the next step because I think lots of people get stuck in that I only know how to make scarves and I only know how to knit and purl and well having said that scarves with the current generation of walls can be really oh, quite they can exciting. be very exciting yes but I wouldn't want people to think that there are That's any skills beyond is. them do you know what I mean yes. I think it's um 
lots of knitters imagine that every other knitter in the world knows a secret that they don't know. And it isn't true with it. It's all just knitting and purling. <laughs> it's all just knitting and purling. Well, you make it sound very easy. I know you, you thoroughly enjoy it. I <laughs> do. I love it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm as addicted as anyone else. Oh, yeah. Thank you for joining us today. And we look forward to, uh, to you joining us on the retreat. Yes, thank you. Thank you for asking me.